why it exploded polygon matic matic network token polygon token software engineer explains i'll be honest with you guys i did not know what matic was until i checked DeFi pulse and i saw that it overtook amp when i was researching up on amp making my staking video so that immediately caught my attention and i was like how the heck did this token which was like in third or second place how did that overtake amp in the span of like a couple days because i was doing some major amp research so that really brought me into this research in the next video that i'm gonna make i'm gonna make a video with me reviewing the matic network or the polygon network after reading the white paper but for today i just really want to go over the news of why it exploded all right whether you're new to my channel or you've already subscribed then remember what i always say before we start the video smash the like button smash the subscribe button so we can push this video out to people who need them and now let's jump into the video so we're gonna start off looking at the charts and we're not gonna do anything technical but i'm just gonna point out some little coincidences that i see that are very peculiar so if you take a look at matic take a look at this over in february they were at like five six cents and it just exploded ever since so it took like uh, february march april or done april we're in may now it took like i'd say three or so months for it to get to this price get to a high of almost a dollar right now it's at seven 79 cents. And you know who had a similar write-up? Binance Coin. Because this one, at the start of the year, around February, it was around $63. 60 bucks. We'll just say 60 to 70 bucks. And right now, it is at $615. So those two look very coincidental to me because they both have a direct relation to Ethereum. All right, so what did both Matic and BNB have to do with Ethereum? Well, right now, Ethereum is not very scalable. It has really high transaction costs, the cost of making swaps is super expensive. And both of these technologies, both Matic and BNB, aims to help really lower the gas fees on Ethereum. Or for BNB side, it actually tries to steal away customers from the Ethereum's base to BNB's base. But Matic, on the other hand, is a complement to Ethereum because using Matic, decentralized exchanges, for example, that are based on Ethereum can get lower transaction fees. And when you can get lower transaction fees, like drop from $20 transaction fees to maybe almost nothing, that's a huge deal. So I really found out about Polygon or Matic when I checked up DeFi Pulse. This is a place where you want to check the rankings of your project based on their specific industry. So when I was checking up on AMP or Flexa, because AMP is the native token for Flexa, they were number one like a week ago. And then Polygon, and then Polygon actually took over this week. So both Polygon and Flexa bring their own value to the table. So even either or they are both good investments in my eyes but like i always say i am not a financial advisor so take my advice with a grain of salt but i also want to cover amp a little bit because around the same time as when matic was like five cents flexa was about you know less than one cent and right now amp is sitting at 0.056 cents and i'm using amp and flexa interchangeably because the value of the flexa network is all captured in the amp token but right now it's at 0 0.056 cents or five cents so it took matic three months to get to where it is to pump up from five cents to 95 cents give or take at its high so could we see the same happen for amp in the next three months that is what i am wondering right now because amp does not directly solve an ethereum scaling problem or high transaction fee problem like bnb and matic what it solves is the use of cryptos when doing everyday purchases in real life or on the blockchain or online so that is the flexa network now one of the aims of matic is also to allow people to make purchases in real life using cryptos but right now it looks like they are more focused on layer two which is helping scale down the fees on ethereum than these actual purchases so still amp is the only one that has their entire focus on making crypto purchases in real life a thing and they are already in production it is already happening in the real world so the question is could we see a 20x rise in amp like we did with matic three months later on for me i think that it might really really depend on marketing i think the roadblock right now is literally Literally just marketing for the Flexa network and AMP. All right, you're like four minutes into this video. So now let's actually get into the content of today's video, but I hope you enjoyed it so far. So let's talk about the reason of why we had such a meteoric rise with Matic. So like I said before, the Polygon network or the Matic network, I use those terms interchangeably, aims to revolutionize the Ethereum ecosystem by introducing lower transaction fees with higher throughput. And more and more DeFi apps 
are joining the Polygon network to tap into the fast growing DeFi market. Now here's the thing, Ethereum 2.0 and layer two scaling solutions has been delayed amid the increased Ethereum fees. The total value locked on Aave on the Polygon protocol is already around $1 billion according to Lark Davis. And he concluded that the Matic coin is still very, very undervalued. And according to Lark Davis, Polygon, the top Ethereum layer two is going nuts integrations with Aave, pool together, sushi swap, open C curve, finance, decentraland, and loads of other big DeFi applications. Total value locked on Aave on Polygon nearing 1 billion, Matic undervalued. According to the article that I'm going to drop in the comments below so you can reference it, Matic reported a daily trading volume of $1.38 billion. And there's about 5.2 billion Matic tokens that are circulating out of 10 billion max supply. Now the Polygon network was designed and developed to help the Ethereum blockchain scale while maintaining the security aspects. And according to devs, Polygon can help Ethereum scale up to 65,535 transactions per block. Now this is huge. Why? Because in Ethereum 1.0, the max transactions per second was about 30. 30! So you take 30 times 14 seconds because a block is like 14 seconds and you get something like 420 transactions per block. So with Ethereum 2.0, which wasn't completely rolled out yet, the transactions per second is actually 100,000 per second, which in 14 seconds is like 1.4 million. But you think that this will completely replace Matic? No, it wouldn't because that 65,000 number was only one side chain. And we talk about side chain in all of my other videos. So make sure you check those out. But one side chain is pretty much like a highway, multiple lane, multiple lane highway. When it comes to side chains, we can have an infinite number of side chains. So if you have like 10 side chains, each doing 65,000 or a hundred side chains, each doing 65,000, that's already way more than what you can do with a hundred thousand transactions per second on Ethereum 2.0. Matic token also plays a vital role in the Polygon network by enabling decentralized governance and securing the system. And because there was more integration with the Polygon network by other major DeFi platforms, the Matic tokens gained a lot more utility, which really caused the rise in the market price. So that is use case, baby. That is when we have use case, a lot of people using it, the price rises. Decentralized exchanges, for example, that are running on the Ethereum blockchains are opting for Polygon rollups and their network in order to clear their huge backlogs and reduce transactions. So what we have is basically customer service. That is the pitch for Polygon. We live in an instantaneous society. We want things now and people will switch if there is nothing holding them back. And if Polygon is going to promise faster transactions per second and reduce transaction fees, that is pretty convincing for people to switch to that. All right, guys, let's take a quick pause and talk about Weeble. There is something called a basis point, which is pretty much a markup on the asset that you're buying, whether it be stock or cryptos, to cover your trading fee. 100 basis points is equal to 1%, 200 basis point is equal to 2%. So on Weeble, the basis points is 100 or 1%. On Coinbase, it is 250 or 2.5%. And if you're a penny pincher like I am, who just sometimes forget to tip, then you'll save money by trading on Weeble rather than Coinbase. And on top of that, you get two free stocks by opening an account with Weeble and depositing in $100. And those stocks can be valued up to $1,600. And you could just sign up, deposit $100 using the link in my description below, and I'll see you on Weeble. So let's talk about scaling. So Matic really hit the nail on the head by helping DeFi protocols bypass Ethereum's high transaction fees. And using that, leveraging that, they attracted a lot of users. And for those of you who are non-technical and have no idea what scaling really means, it basically means increasing the transactions per second because instead of doing 30 transactions per second, oh, now we can do way more than that. So who wouldn't pick the way more than that? And for those of you who are wondering what the heck is layer two because I mentioned it in like a couple minutes ago, Layer two is basically a solution to help facilitate faster and cheaper transactions by running side chains along the main Ethereum blockchain. And demand for these projects and solutions has risen because of the high transaction costs and network congestion that is facing the Ethereum blockchain. So right now it really looks like Polygon is dominating this market and it looks like they're gonna be here to stay. And they're not only here to stay, they're probably going to strengthen as well. So while new investors are going in and flocking into Dogecoin, you should be flocking into Magnet. Now, like I said before, Ethereum is working on scalability right now, and it could improve and bring down transaction fees once sharding is implemented. But God knows when that will be. And for those of you who are wondering what sharding is, it's basically just breaking down a node that is holding terabytes of data into multiple pieces. The problem with sharding is that it's just a really, really difficult problem to solve right now. So on top of all this, Polygon also released news that they're ramping up their development fund to $100 million. And this is incentivizing for developers because developers need to 
eat too. And if you're gonna offer them an all you can eat buffet when they're hungry, that's where they're gonna go, which will steal developers from other competing projects. Smart game. And with that being said, sharding is very different from layer two. As I understand it anyways, I'm not working on the code. But they say that even with sharding, polygons layer two or Maddox sidechains would probably still be needed. Because like I said, sharding is breaking down the node into other pieces so that it's easier to manage. But sidechains are pretty much giving us multiple highways instead of one lane highway for all of us to ride on, increasing the transactions per second. All right, guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you got some value out of it. If you did, then please be sure to smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, check out these other videos on cryptocurrencies and passive income, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.